fuck. It's springtime, isn't it? So it's finally spring and I think it's about the right time to do a spring pickup video, right? There won't be a lot of sh shirts or like shorts or anything like that because even though it is springtime, I live in Seattle and it literally makes no sense that it's April and my car is still frozen in the morning. Like what the fuck, bro? It, I took this picture at 9 a.m. Like that make no sense. But yeah, uh, springtime in Seattle is kind of like you're wearing the same outfits you are in the winter, but you just, instead of like, you know, using a hoodie for everything, you kind of just throw a shirt on, right? But you still wear the same and everything like that, because Seattle's generally like a cold state, you know what I'm saying? I'll be covering a whole bunch of things that I've gotten recently, right? And holy shit, um, it is a bunch of capital. <laughs> right uh i've been getting into capital heavily lately right i know it's a hype brand right now and i really but it's like i really vibe with that like hippie americana vibe that it gives off right i think they're really playful and really fun with the items the pieces right and sometimes they just look like beautiful masterpieces right i'm really into, uh, i really have this like tendency to get like start deep diving into companies that i really like because i like getting shit that nobody has because i ain't trying to be a clone i'm trying to be different you know what i'm saying i'm trying to i don't want to be like nobody else you know what i'm saying i'm i am god like <laughs> but yeah um let's get into it right the first thing I want to show off is this hoodie that was sent to me by a company located in New York City but called Flaws of Youth, right? It's a small team and they really do be making quality products. This hoodie was made from Japanese French terry and it's all hand stitched by a single person in the studio and you can really see how careful they are with each detail, right? I was talking to the owner of the brand and I could really see the passion behind each of the items that they make and it's something I could really get behind. It contains like hella uh, hidden pockets which I'm a fan of because that at least makes it somewhat different from other hoodies because at the end of the day, right, it's just a great hoodie. It has a hidden pocket in the front with a magnet sewn in so nothing accidentally falls out. Also contains hidden pockets on the side and to be honest, I don't know what the point of these are but fuck it, it's a fruit snack compartment, you know what I'm saying? Overall, I think it's a really good gray hoodie, right? I will be looking forward for what they release in the future. Now moving on to jackets, the first item I'm going to show off is this vintage capital checkered reversible fleece. Now I know capital fleeces is what's popular right now. <coughs> Damascus fleece. <coughs> But hey, they make a pretty good quality fleece, right? Each square is individually stitched onto a jacket. It's not just a special dyed where it's like, you know, each square is its own section, but it's, you know, it's built differently from a basic fleece and it's not too wild by itself, right? The reversible side's hella nice too, but I don't see myself wearing it like that too often. Next is another vintage capital item. It's a John Lennon board jacket. The embroidery and the corduroy on the aging is kind of crazy, right? I think it's a woman's jacket because it's pretty cropped. It got a certain vibe to it, you feel me, right? It has John Lennon Christmas lyrics on the back and a whole bunch of his drawings throughout the jacket. It's one of my favorite recent pickups and I can't get over how like, perfect his jacket is to me, right? It's like, it's so perfect. I might go hunt down the person who did my guy John dirty, you feel me? Next up, we got a jacket that most people already know what it is. It's the Capital Borrow jacket, right? There's a lot I can say about this jacket, but in simple, eh, in simple terms, the build and the details are insane, right? This jacket fits like a glove on me. The liner is a really nice detail, and it feels smooth as fuck. Like I used to think this jacket was way too loud and it wasn't my thing, right? When, but seeing it in person, sheesh, this thing is definitely a gray old item. Moving on to pants, I picked up two pairs of 90s 517 orange tab Levi's, right? I've been really into like that boot cut flare lately. The first one is a blue pair, there's not really much to talk about. It fits really nice, a little slim for my taste, right? But it still looks good regardless. I went true to size for this pair. And for the black pair, I went a size up because I didn't want them to be like, you know, gripping my cheeks like that. Pause. And like I said with the blue pair, I'm just really into that like boot cut look right now, right? I think it looks really good with a lot of shoes. There's not really much else to say. They're just Levi's at the end of the day. The next pair of pants that I picked up are capital studded denim or jewel denim, right? I think these are kind of crazy, right? The way the jewels are put into the denims uh, is really, really well done. So, you know, they won't really fall off. It's really good Japanese denim. And I did have to flare these out a little because I bought a slim pair and I thought they were straight fit. But, you know, shout out to my tailor, right? She made them, you know, slim straight. And I think they fit way better now. I just think that these pants make really basic outfits just look a little better with the detailing on the jewels. So right here I have Capital Century Denim. It's Japanese denim with olive oil shishinko indigo threads and they're meant to last a century, hence the name. 
these are honestly my beater slash bum pair of pants because I'm trying to beat them up, right? Because when they fade slash age, right, they look way better than your dad on a Friday. They just fire. They, you know what I'm saying? They're really crazy. If you look at the detailing, right, you can really tell like these are like something you want to own for a really, really long time, right? So they just age and they customize as you wear them. Moving on to shoes, I only got two pairs in. The first one is the older model of Visual and Crystals. The newer models tend to be bulkier than the older ones, but it's all of the preference, right? This is the polka dot black colorway. I got them for a really good price and I felt like I couldn't pass it up. And I feel like it's a really good thing to own and to start wearing when it gets much hotter, right? It's a really nice spring summer shoe. Next and lastly, I got these Converse Attics, right? I'm not gonna go too much into detail as I do wanna make a separate video for them. But they're basically like the grail of all Converse, right? Everything about them is like a higher quality material and it has that beautiful Vibram sole. You know, it's like the ultimate if you know, you know item, right? However, at the end of the day, it still looks like Converse. Is the price justifiable? I don't know, but they're basically just Converse. So yeah, um, those are my recent pickups for spring, right? As you could tell, I've been dick riding capital like mad crazy. Like I'll be, on, you know what I'm saying? I'll be on that shit like a rodeo, you feel me? Like... There are a few more items that I do plan on getting, right? But they haven't released yet or it's just something that I've been keeping my eye on, right? But as of right now, I'm pretty comfortable with what my spring like rotation like collection will look like. I haven't been getting into more shirts. I probably will buy more shirts later on in the future, right? But as of right now, I've just been wearing blanks and wearing like accessories and stuff like that. And I've been pretty well happy with that lately. So maybe later on towards like the summer. But as of right now, like I'm cool. Like I'm chilling off for what I got right now. But yeah. Um, that's my spring pickup. I ain't got really nothing else to say, right? But, you know, appreciate it. Thank you for sticking around. And, um, till next time, right?